Shout out to G-Man Boxing. Alright people, bit of breaking news I'm just reporting on now. Manny Pacquiao, the ageless warrior. It's been announced today that following his loss last month at the hands of your energy, you guess, at age 42, Manny Pacquiao was retiring from boxing. I have a statement here which I'm going to quote from Manny Pacquiao and it says, and I quote, My boxing career is over. I've been boxing for a long time and my family would always tell me it's time to stop. I was a kid selling bread before. If I told you I'd be world champion and known all over the world, or sorry, if you told me I'd be world champion and known all over the world, you'd say that seems impossible. But Manny Pacquiao now, I, I guess in a way, it doesn't surprise me. You know, he is expected to go for, I believe, president of the Philippines in 2022. And a title like that, a position like that, you would imagine that boxing would just take a, a massive backseat even if he didn't announce his retirement so Manny Pacquiao world champion in the 90s 2000s 2010s and 2020s what can you say about Manny Pacquiao that's not already been said you know even before I was a fan of boxing even before I was even a casual fan of boxing I knew who Manny Pacquiao was I knew that name I knew Manny Pacquiao even though at the time oh how old was I about 12 I mean, about 12, 2006 kind of was when I started knowing Manny Pacquiao. I didn't even watch boxing back then, but I knew who Manny Pacquiao was. And then I started watching him. And then I saw, like, his fights against De La Hoya. I remember his fight, um, was it, what was it, something Diaz? I forget his name. The guy he beat at Lightweight. I remember Dash. I remember Ricky Hatton. And I liked Ricky Hatton at the time. And I remember his knockout of Ricky Hatton. I remember thinking, you know, and believe you me, I was in 2009, 2010... I was a casual, but I was convinced he would have beaten Floyd Mayweather. Can, like, literally, you could not have convinced me otherwise. When I was, like, 14, 15, I was such a big fan of Manny Pacquiao. I was like, he, he's beaten Floyd. No way Floyd can beat Manny Pacquiao. I still think now if that fight had happened in 2009, you know, 2010, it would have been an excellent fight. And it wouldn't have been as straightforward for Floyd as it was in 2015. It's just a shame we didn't get that fight then. It It's sad in a way because Pacquiao was a fighter who... I always enjoyed watching. Even late on in his career, I still enjoyed. I'd still stay up and watch Manny Pacquiao. Even before doing YouTube, I would still stay up and watch Manny Pacquiao. I remember in 2016, when he beat Tim Bradley. That was meant to be his retirement back then. Do you remember? He lost to Floyd Mayweather. Had the comeback fight in April 2016 against Tim Bradley. And that was a, that was supposed to be it. I don't even think there was a... No, there wasn't. There wasn't a title on the line in that fight. Now, that retirement in, I believe, April 2016 was when he fought Tim Bradley for the third time. That lasted about as long as, you know, Bojo's erections. Not long. So, he came back against Jesse Vargas in November of that year. Won another world title. Lost that world title straight away to Jeff Horn. And then he came back against Lucas Matisse. And he actually did look quite good in the subsequent fights. But two years out of the ring, going in there against Rodan as you guess... You know, a lot of things going on in the Philippines with regards to political career. 42 years old, father time, as the saying goes, is undefeated. But at the end of the day, what a legend this man is, you know. I may do a career review. I See, my career reviews are called WTF videos, which is kind of like a train wreck story. And there really is no train wreck story to Manny Pacquiao, so I don't even know if I'd call it that. But just a hell of a fighter. Sad that he's gone, but it, it, again, I'm not exactly surprised. You know, I was fairly sure after he announced, after I'm sorry, after the fight was over, that we'd seen the end of Manny Pacquiao. I was fairly sure. I kind of thought to myself, if we do see him again, it might be in the Philippines against, you know, a, a kind of lower level fighter. You know, what was the Robert Guerrero, someone like that. Or, um, you know, someone like that, you know, who was kind of, who was on the, Robert Guerrero? I can't remember his name now. The guy who fought on his undercard, you know, he was knocked out by Floyd Mayweather. His name slips my mind. Something Guerrero. First name just slips my mind. Someone like that, maybe, who has a bit of value in his name, but is not going to cause him any trouble in the Philippines is a good buy fight. But no, straight up retiring 42. Big up to Manny Pacquiao. That he set records, which I don't personally believe will ever be beaten. You know, uh, to go from flyweight to 154 to win world titles from flyweight to 154 pounds i can't see anyone ever doing that again 
That is a remarkable achievement. Absolutely remarkable achievement. You know, put it in context. Naomi Inoue started his career at 108 pounds. He bypassed flyweight, went to superfly. He's now a world champion at bantamweight. We expect him at some stage to go to super bantamweight and potentially featherweight. That's it. We don't expect him to go anymore. We don't expect to see him, you know, campaign at 147 pounds. Don't expect to see him campaign at lightweight, much even less super featherweight. Manny Pacquiao went, although he didn't start at light flyweight, he only started at flyweight, it's only one division above, to start at flyweight, to go up, and bear in mind, these guys are naturally bigger than Manny Pacquiao. If Manny Pacquiao did a proper weight cut, even at 42, you would say light welter, maybe if he really wanted to, you know, take the weight off, he could do lightweight still. But that's really kind of his ideal weight division. The fact that he was able to still be one of the best in his respective division, which is not his natural division at the age of 42, it really does speak volume to the kind of fighter we had. Manny Pacquiao is, Adam Smith described the best, there won't be another Manny Pacquiao. He's a once in a generation type of fighter. And, you know, I give full credit to him. You know, I, it's sad in a way because I've watched him for 15 years. Just I'm showing my age now, but years and years and years since I was a kid, like since I was 12 years old, I knew who Manny Pacquiao was and I watched his fights and De La Hoya, Hatton, Mosley, Coo. You know, I remember the Marquez knockout very well. I remember that. <laughs> Boy, I remember that very well. And I actually thought he, I, I remember going into that fourth fight thinking he's going to beat Marquez easy. He's going to beat me. He knows Marquez to a T. He's going to beat me easy this time. Boy, was I wrong. <laughs> Boy, was I wrong. You know, that was when I was kind of starting to go into hardcore kind of fan, like as in boxing. But, um, yeah, credit to Manny Pacquiao. Great career. Um, that's really it. That's all I got to say. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash the like button. Subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. You know, I like seeing my numbers go up. You know, I'll admit it. I like seeing it go up. Everyone does. But I appreciate it if you'd like my channel and, you know, make my numbers go up. I'd appreciate that. For now, lads and lasses, I'll talk to you. Peace.